What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Tasting Tuesday. My name's Wade, and this is Bourbon Hall. And today, we're going to be trying something that was off of a uh, recently released hunting video that I picked up. So let's get into it, man. What we're trying today? Isaac Bowman Port Barrel. Now, you can find these all over the around. I saw these in South Carolina. I know that they're around. Um, this was one of the first ones I've seen in a long time. Um, I've wanted a Bowman. I've got a Bowman Brothers. I've never had a single barrel. We're going to try this. Now, Isaac Bowman Port Barrel. Now, I believe that Bowman, the Bowman Brothers and all of that, uh, the old thing is, is that it's Bland's Juice, Buffalo Trace, and they take it over to Virginia. They redistill it. And apparently this one is aged in Port Barrels. Should expect uh, deep wood tannins, caramel, and spicy notes. And then combined with the flavors of jam like fruit with smooth finish from resting port barrels. Man, I wish I had someone to just write a description about me on there. Except it'd just be mean facts, and I don't need that shit. So, anyway, let's crack this open. Port barrels, hmm, not a bad cork pop. There, I mean, port finish stuff is pretty common. Angel's Envy has a port finished rye. There's a lot of things in here that do give it kind of a, that wine slash, you know, that deeper fruit flavor. Let's try it out. Thanks, Max, appreciate it. Hmm. You know when you smell something, you're like, that can't be right. So let's try that again. Nope, smell it at the same time. I just don't. It's not pleasing off the nose for me. Um, I'm trying to place exactly what that note is. It smells like a deep, mm, earthy note, maybe. I'm sure that's way off, but that's what I'm smelling right now. A little bit of that. It's almost tart, like red wine tartness. Kind of if you have a cheap red wine and you let it, and you just leave a little bit left in there, almost a vinegar, okay? And you let it just dry out in that glass, but that aroma still in the glass, that's kind of what I get there. Yeah. Yeah, and the finish, long finish, you get a lot of jam. It's actually quite pleasant, kind of like you almost ate like a, a berry pie. And you know, like you kind of eat that crust with that one piece of uh, berry, you know, pie filling in there, and it kind of lingers through. That's not bad. That's very interesting. What did this say? Wood tannins, caramel, and spicy notes. Hmm. That is just not what I get. Mm. I spent uh, 46 bucks on this. Hmm. And that is not my deal. The end, I got the flavor now. I know exactly what it reminds me of. Sitting in church, communion day, coming through. Get a little, you know, body of Christ, blood of Christ. It's kind of the, like you put those two together, grape juice and, you know, a stale cracker. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the finish, which actually is kind of nice. It's reminiscent, you know. Ah, that is just terrible on the front, though. I mm, Great on the back, though. That's weird. That is weird. It's it's kind of almost like exercising where you're just really hate yourself all the way through. And then you're glad you're, you did it when you know, it's over. I don't care for this. It is not one. I'm glad I bought it. Glad I tried it. Cause I've been seeing it. Hmm. I'm interested in trying some of the other stuff. I, this is not my flavor. Yeah. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully, you know, it saves you or it really drives you out to go get one of these. My name's Wade, this is Bourbon Hall, and this is a, another Tasting Tuesday that is, eh, you know, kind of a letdown. Don't worry, there's got a lot of stuff that we get to try, so 
on to the next one. What's up, everybody? You just probably saw the review of this Isaac Bowman port barrel. The review was not great. I did not know how to explain what I was tasting. It tasted funky. It tasted like vinegar. It kind of smelled like vinegar. And it tasted kind of rough up front and then kind of sweet on the back. After the review, I you know, went through the editing and all of that. Then I thought, I think that's a bad bottle. I need to go find another one. It's hard to find that bottle around here. So I was up in Minnesota and happened to run across another one. So I'm going to do a comparison. So this is the bottle that I shot the review with. So let's try it. Now, maybe my palate was funky. I don't know. But I was like, gosh, a company can't just smell that and uh, go, yeah, let's just put that out in mass production. You know? And then, you know, of course, I also had 291. Ugh. Yeah, just vinegary, rough. And I explained it kind of like when you have a wine that goes down and you just leave a little bit in the bottle. Kind of has that vinegary smell to it. This kind of has that. Yeah, it's just terrible up the, on the front. Ugh. You get a little bit of that oak and a little bit of stuff on the back. So let's try the other bottle that I just got. Oh, I hope it's better because then I'm just wasting money on two bottles and just really burying this review. Or barrel. And I've seen other reviews where people really like this. That's why I bought it off the bat. I really feel like they would not like it if it tastes like this because I don't know who would like it like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. I got a bad bottle. That's the first time ever in my whiskey journeys that I've had a bottle that was funky. Something's wrong with that one. I'm glad I put it in my mouth multiple times. Yeah, this has no off-putting smell to it. You know, you get the general oak and a little bit of that port. Yeah, you get the caramel. It's all right. It's way better than that one. That's terrible. So now I get to gift this to all my buddies that owe me money. So what's possible? You could have a bottle that is, you know, pretty well liked around the community. And it could be a bad bottle. I never experienced that. It's surprising to me. But this is a shit bottle. This one, okay. I'm going to put this one back on the shelf. I got to find a way to utilize this one for floor cleaner or something. It's just terrible. So, you guys ever had a weird bottle or a funky bottle that's just like doesn't make sense? Maybe it was skunked. I don't even know how something like that happens. But, yeah, it was bad. So, cheers to getting something that actually tastes okay.